What is up everybody, Madcap here, and welcome back to Grim Dawn, where, as promised, we are down in the infested cellar, awaiting whatever lurks down here. Uh, it looks like it might actually have been a lot shorter than I thought, I'm not sure. But these two ends are really close together here, so hopefully it doesn't just loop up this way. I would imagine not, but I don't know, we'll see. So let's just get on through this, we got this to do, we got some quests to turn in in the city thing. And then we've got north ways to go. So those are all things that we're probably going to do here today, I would imagine. Along with getting this treasure. Because why not? Treasure's always good to have, right? Um... Let's see here. I guess let's go into this group of guys. Might as well. They all look ripe for killing. Flesh Warp Thrasher, I see you in there. I'm trying to sneak around. Being all powerful inside of all these weak fools. Easy. Absolutely easy. Well, look at all these rats down here. Jeez, look, there's a starter rat! Maledictus. Maledictus. Weird, okay. That wasn't too bad. You didn't really even get my health down that much. What the hell are you doing? Are you standing back here doing nothing? That ro oh, but I said rolling blood. What the hell's roiling blood? What? What? I don't know what roiling means. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I was like, oh, maybe this is boiling. No, that's definitely an R. Roiling blood it is. Okay, so this leads right back. So it looks like there might be two entrances. And that little spot to explore back there. So yeah, not a whole lot down here, it looks like. Man, that guy went flying. But I'll just kill off these guys over here. I'm already on this path, and then go back and check what's on the other side. These poor sons of bitches. Look at that. They all just exploded into blood piles. Didn't even stand a chance. And there's the ladder. Cool. Okay. So we can go over here and grab uh, what appears to be a food ration. Although I don't particularly need that right now, I guess. It would seem. I, I don't know what I picked up, because I had a little bit more missing, so... Who knows? Crumbly wall! Hidden remains. Mistwalker leggings! Oh, there's something crazy down here, at least. Level 20. I have another level 20 thing that I stored in my my bank of jig So I can maybe use this. I don't know what that was, though. Lightning resistance, aether resistance... Nothing super exciting. It has a lot of armor, though. It's basically double what I've got right now. What is this? I can see you here. Tonic of mending. Treasure chest. Pile of bones. All these secret things to break apart here. That's why you just jiggle your mouse around. Until you find every last thing. There's a door there. Why is this in the middle of a salt circle? Weird. I guess that could be paint. I don't know. Is paint invented in this game yet? It might not be. We'll just say it's salt. That fits with the overall theme better, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, at least we got that little boss. The little Mendelu Vlaganu, or whatever his name was down here. The rat. Nope, everything's disintegrating up here. What was that stab? Like some horror stab. Like a jump scare or something. Jeez Louise. Trying to be all scary game? What are you guys doing over here? I thought I cleared this all out. Huh, I must have missed this little area back here. Fine. That's okay, I can clear you all out. Clear these boxes out as well. Get some more iron bits before we head back. Never opposed to more things. Popping up over here out of the ground. Man, there's all kinds of guys over here. More the merrier. Where are we, anyways? Oh, maybe I didn't go all the way over here. Wait, I can't go that way. Ah, I was just here, though. Cool. Go through here, at least. This should get me back on the path. Okay, so new. I suppose I could just put a portal here. Save myself 
a few feet of walking, I suppose, right? It's never a bad thing. And then what do we need to do here? So dump off some of my crap, I suppose. Uh, I guess I'll take the armor. That's a lot of armor. Holy crap. Um, I guess that's better than what I have, isn't it? Just for double armor alone. I don't have any frostburn damage, so I'm basically negating anything I would have had. <laughs> but this coat looks cool, though. Oh well. I guess that's not that bad looking. Okay, sell that. Uh, sell that. I guess I just don't need to move them. Helmet. Ugly. Don't want it. Dagger. Can't use those. I'll save you guys for level 20. Anything over here? Ooh, a green coat. Nah, I don't think I need it. I've been buying one of these each time I come in here. I don't know if I should. But they're cheap enough, and I feel like scrap iron's probably... Something important to build up, maybe? I don't know. It seemed like a decent idea, at least. Okay, let's talk to you. Oh, yeah, I gotta confront this guy, the traitor. What do you want? What do you want? You looking to start problems? Best be on your way. I've had a curious note, Burwitch. Mentions you by name, Mr. Dare and I. Oh, I... Uh... Wouldn't believe anything it says. It's slander. Your schemes are finished and your life forfeit. Damn that cult. I knew this would catch up to me someday. Well, don't expect me to go without a fight. You're finished, traitor. I actually have to kill him? Is this bad or is this good? Don't, don't, don't mind me, ma'am. Just taking care of business here. <laughs> Do I get anything for that? Probably not. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's travel up here. Since we are already here. Stash, 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 stash. Uh, combine. Move. And store. What are you? Mistwalker leggings. Explorer's foot pads. And ember grip handguards. Great! Fantastic. None of these things go together. Oh, well. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Mr. John Borbin. What's with all the commotion? I was killing a guy. That's what's with all the commotion. Dear and I was sabotaging us. He's damaged the well pump. I trusted that son of a slith. Thank you for uncovering this betrayal. Who You're knows welcome. what other damage he could have caused if left to his devices? Well, I do what I can. Don't worry about it. Oh, God. Such a dramatic level up. You reached level 20. You got a thousand iron, these thingamajigs, and whatever that is, along with 500 experience. All right. What do you got for me now? Have you found a rift gate in Burwich? What's the situation out there? Swarming with ethereal corruption, but the rift gate is secure, sir. Good work. While you were gone, I dug through some of the files in this office, and I think we have our target. The X-Files? As you are acutely aware, ethereals can possess humans and bend them to their will. I always had my suspicions, but now I have little doubt. The former warden of this prison is possessed. Well before the Grim Dawn, in fact. Interesting. 350 experience gain. How can there you be sure? There countless holes in the prison records, prisoners just disappearing, never to be seen again. The warden's personal logs paint a more complete picture. He's been transferring prisoners into a secret facility underneath his mansion in Burwich Village for years. What huh. for, I don't know, but. I'm sure it wasn't for rehabilitation. There are also several mentions of ethereals and rift gates. I need you to find this man, or whatever he has become. Where can I find this this kind gentleman? The Burwich Estates, perhaps? Warden Krieg owned a mansion in the northern district of Burwich Village. The logs indicate that his facilities can be reached via the cellar. I'm afraid I don't have more to go on, but if we want to strike back at the ethereal power structure in the region, the Warden is our prime target. Interesting. Okay. I, I don't think that's the cellar I was just in. I hope. H I will end the Warden's life. Never fear. I still probably can't use that because nobody trusts me. I mean, I did just slaughter a man in front of everybody. What's this? 
Cola? I don't I don't know what that is. Alright. Oh well. Okay, we should be done here. As far as I know. So let's head back up to ye old Rift Portal. And see if we can find these or this cellar, I suppose. I said it was north of the people. Access the Warden's Cellar. I would imagine it's not up here, because this is going to change names. Yeah, this is for which estates. Yeah, there's a lot of people up here. Oh, look at that. I just blew, like, ten people to dust. All at once. I keep seeing things like this on the ground. Like that, and I, I think it's an item. But no, it's just an eye or something. Nothing useful. Where'd all you guys come from? You weren't here a second ago. How dare you spawn here without me knowing. Okay, well I'm gonna check the cellars. Just in case this is the actual cellar I was supposed to go in. Because we are in Burwich Village. And technically this is a cellar. So... Maybe? Access the Warden Cellar. I mean, this doesn't say Warden Cellar. It just says Infested Cellar. So I would imagine this is not the right place. Uh, was there another cellar in here? Hmm. There was one other spot to go down, right? What was that shiny do? Nothing? Okay. There's another spot south of here where I can go... I think. I don't know what that was either. Uh, okay, I can go down here. Go straight down this way, and then this area here. Alright, let's see what this says. Uh, if I can get in. There we go. Okay, where do you go? Is there a trapdoor? Flooded cell. Okay, we've got every cellar but the cellar we need. Wait a minute. Have I not explored this little area? That's peculiar. I swear I went through all this. Stairs up. Stairs up. Huh. Oh, there's rocks here. Maybe that's why I didn't go. Okay. Alright, so neither one of these are the cellar we're looking for. We've got two cellars, no warden cellar. So the other spot that I can think of to maybe go would be that way. Which is here. But that also changed names, didn't it? Uh, The Wardon. Blah, blah, blah. The warden cellar underneath is a state in Burwich. But he said Burwich Village. Right? Underneath his mansion of Burwich Proper. What does Burwich Proper mean? This makes it sound like it's in Burwich Estate, which is up that way. But he said Burwich Village, which is where I am. So maybe the game's confused with itself? I don't know. I guess I'll just keep going question is, which way do I want to go now? Because I still... Oh, I can't go through here because it's burning. Can I get through here? No. Damn it. I still could technically go up this way, too. I'm supposed to be going to Berwick Estates. Which means I think I want to go northwest and see what's up there. And explore that area. Before we continue on with wherever we're supposed to be going and doing and accomplishing all that stuff, might as well get this out of the way. I thought it was a person. I think it's just a stump. Alright, what was this called? Abandoned Waterfront. Okay. Well, those guys are coming after me. I have to run all the way around, it looks like. Probably never see them again. I don't know where they went. They must have just given up. Oh, hello there, Flesh Warp, flesh warp Butcher. Here. Where is this going? Is 
looks like it's a couple docks here. So we're kind of going along the outside. I, what, I don't I have no idea how I ended up running backwards. That was peculiar. I thought for some for a second somebody put a like a reversal spell on me. I see you laying there. The red highlight gave you away. Next time hide without the red highlights. Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, that square. The mysterious square of secrets. We get to find out what that is in this episode. Maybe some kind of alternate reality. Everything's two-dimensional or something. I can see that being it. Roasting blood. That's what I'm gonna call it. Roiling. I just don't I don't know what roiling means. Fabric? Oh boy! We got fabric. A little worn and stained, but otherwise in good condition. Quest item. What? I what what? have a quest for fabric. I guess I'll keep it around just in case. Look at all these boxes. Boxes and barrels galore with just tons of random stuff in them. And here's even more. Yeah. Get all that glorious loot. More of these things. Werewolves, porcupines, and stuff. Guys, so just sit back. Ooh, there's a cave down here. I will gladly enter that. It's all trashy down here. Damn! Is that a school bus? No. Finnig fit Finnegan's bread? I think is what that said. I'm not actually sure. It looks like Finnegan's bread. Hello! Jeez Louise! Talk about an ambush! What the hell? There was like 30 guys that closed on me when I came down here. Wow, okay. This is definitely... a lot of enemies. Right off the bat. That's fine by me. More enemies means more experience. And you know me, I want the experience points so that I can get the sweet... Tasty skill points because I still have like 21 skill points to go. I don't have another milestone other than the end, so it's gonna be a long journey to get to uh, 25 or more experience points, that's for sure. That's damn sure. But this will help out. Just come down here and grind before every episode. Actually, I didn't even see what level they are. It might not be completely useful. I see a sparkling over there. Give me that sweet, tasty trigger. Am I actually... No, I don't see any debuffs. I was going to say, am I actually getting poisoned being in this toxic green cloud? Kind of seems like I would, but... I don't see the debuff, so it's not a thing. Man, this place is really... Foggily green. Grundle Plith the Hoarder. What? Where are all these quests coming from? I don't. I don't have this. Enemy boss killed. Devil touched ammo. What? What? What is that? Uh. Oh. Guns, crossbows, and caster off hands. Cool. Well, at least we finished a quest down here. A quest that I didn't have. Mutiny? How dare you. I'm the captain of this ship. 20, 30, 29 physical damage. Acid. Plus 4 damage to humans. Nothing spectacular, I suppose. And that looks like what we, what we came down here for. Maybe I'll get a quest for that guy later. Potentially. See any shrines or anything? Scrap. We're getting a decent amount of scrap, though. Maybe I shouldn't be buying it. Because you can only buy one at a time, so I figured, you know, 700 iron? It's not that much? It builds me up a nice little stack of iron or scrap for whenever I need it. Of course, I haven't figured out what to use it for yet, so. 
that's kind of why I'm building up a stock. Ah, fabric. Somebody want fabric. Maybe the people in Burwich Estates will be looking for whatever I'm doing right now. So I can just be like, here, I'm already done. I'm that good. I'm way ahead of you. More fabric. Purgeoning leather belt. Heard that waistline. Okay, let's go into here. This fancy pants building. Wow, that guy got wrecked. He stood up and then sat down. Dead. Ooh, I see a thing over there. Can I get can, can I get over there? Oh, I can't. There's a door there. It was hiding. Okay, kill you. Kill you. And then we'll read this thing. Harbor Monster's Log. Bear Witch. Alright, where'd you go? There you are. They're so tiny! Lore bonus, plus 150 experience. Sweet! Uh, Harbor Master's Log. Here we go. Another boat to ride, filled with hooded prisoners. Dozens of them. As usual, a wagon was waiting for them, but from what I hear, it doesn't take them far. One of the loading boys came back from Burwich after visiting there. Uh, that new doctor and said the wagon stopped outside the warden's mansion. The lad asked about the prisoners, and one of the handlers said, Rehabilitation, yeah. <laughs> Not sure what to make of that. It's, uh, there's been over a dozen of these prisoner transports in as many weeks. I just don't see how they can fit them all in that mansion. I don't care how big that place may be. Craig won't be keeping a prison's worth of no good thieves under his roof. Something peculiar is going on there, and it don't settle right in my stomach. Might have to send word up the lake to Malmouth. Ma Mal mouth. Ma Mal Mal mouth. Get one of them inquisitors down here to look at this curiosity. Can't say I want one of them inquisitors poking around here much either, though. They make a man uneasy. Interesting. So he's talking about that estate as well, then. Seems to be a right foul place, that estate. It's alright, I'm sure we'll be there fairly shortly. I can do some investigating of my own. Get over here. Don't you walk around the other side of that thing? We're gonna go this way first. Before we head into the Square of Secrets. I'm so excited to see what's in there. It's gotta be the coolest thing ever in that area. Otherwise, why would they make it an awesomely drab square on the map? Ooh, Burwich Estates! We found a second entrance into that place. Right. It's gonna be a third entrance. Yep, there's a third entrance. Okay. There's a wall. Oh god! That is a very large cloud of dead bugs. Jeez. What in Tao Nation? Oh, I thought that was a cave for a second. Here you are. Uh, hang on, I'm stuck behind a tree. I'll be right there. Wait, no, this is a different guy. I think. Azure Matriarch. More bugs. Pile of bones. Now we're back in Burroughs Village. Okay, good. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's almost time. It's almost time for the Square of Secrets. I can feel it. I can taste it. I can smell it. Give me all the treasures. Okay, we just need to walk through here. Walk over here. And... It's a journeyman's pack? What's this? Food ration? No! 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 I can't make it to the square! No! All my hopes and dreams! <laughs> it was gonna be so cool! I had great plans! Now I'll never know! This close! My fog of war has uncovered just the tiniest piece of it! <gasps> Touché, game. Touché. I salute you in your efforts to keep me out of the Square of Secrets. And so it shall remain. A secret forever! <laughs> oh well. That's fine. Let's move on in here. Now we need to find that goddamn mansion. Oh, mansion, where are you? 
Oh, I see you, Barrel. Hiding over there in the corner, all sneaky. I'm just a regular prop that you can't destroy. Don't come look for me. Okay, I guess we just keep going up this way. I see a Yu-Gi-Oh eye. That means it's time to duel. Let's go, boys. Bring it on. Stop me. Ain't nobody stopping me. Nobody! Yeah, come on. Come on. Are you trying to throw your fire at me over there? Not gonna work. Because I'm in a different room, boy! Yeah, take that bookshelf. You. That's some nasty looking water. Nasty looking water. Alright, Mr. Trapdoor. Where do you think you go? Musty cellar? We're going to find just about every cellar but the one we're looking for, aren't we? That's alright. Musty cellar's going to be fun. They have such a nice, peculiar smell to them. Oh, wow. That was an explosion of legs. Gear deem spurters? Oh, what? That guy was dead. I, th I thought he was wandering around. That's a food ration. Oh, no, it's not. It's a tonic amending. Never mind. Take it. Eat it. Love it. Mend it. Uh, nope, don't want to hit inventory. I was looking to hit M for map. Which is slightly different from I. Just just a little bit. Take that, Jug. Show you to store useful things. Uh, I think that was a food ration. Oh, well. Scrap pile. Do you contain scrap? Yes! All oh, that pretty scrap. Bring it all into my inventory. It's awfully quiet down here. I don't like it. Alright, come here. Come here, Flesh Pounder. I've killed thousands of you in Killing Floor, and I'll kill thousands more in here. I know all your tricks. All of them. Yeah. How dare you spit fire at me, good sir. It's not allowed when you're dying. Just need to just need to go down and die. Goodbye, I. I guess we could either walk through this open door or kick down this other door like a bad ass. Okay, that's the way we came from. I choose badass method. But, uh, yeah, I'm here, motherfucker. Take some. Get some. Plenty for everybody. Oh, that's the end of this. No treasure. No boss. No Casper's apprentice in the thing. It's all right. We'll just find another cellar, I'm sure. What you sneaking around over here? And you're dead. Uh, can I go back through here? Oh, I guess I haven't been here, so back through here is kind of a misleading statement. Hey, get out of here. There's one enemy hiding in here. Uh, oh, there's a stretch chest right there. Almost missed that. Look at all those green things. Glacial restored hat. Why, that just sounds pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Untouched meal. Don't need that, but okay. Guess I'll just pick it up anyways. Probably shouldn't have. Alright, let's go down here. Let's see what we got. A couple eyes, nothing I can't deal with. Eyes scream for eyes death. What the hell are you? Possessed Arcanist? Wand of Celery? Oh, that's great. Is that the only normal person wandering around here? I, th I think so. That's peculiar. What? what? It seemed like a random thing. Maybe I shouldn't have killed them. There's something special. Oh, look at this. I didn't know you could have these on the overworld. Oh, cool. I was not expecting that. Get out of here with your eyeball blasts. Laser eyes. What the hell's this guy doing? He's dancing. He's dancing. Am I having a party? Oh, God. Well, I guess they are undead already, so it's not like killing them would hurt their feelings. Jeez. 
All right, Mr. Shrine, what do you want? The shrine is corrupted and needs to be cleansed. Summon what is trapped within? Uh, sure, I guess. A couple flesh pounds. Easy. Is that the best you got? Really? Really? Please. Don't you know I played a melee class in Killing Floor? So swinging axes around to flesh pounds is all right up my alley. Shrine has already been restored. Yay! Happy days are here to stay. Uh, what is this? Oh. I get it. There's a star there. Wait, were you over here? Wait, what? Well, there it is. Well, I guess we'll do this then. We're already here. No point putting it off. Why put off today what you can do today? Right? That, that's a quote. No, it's not. Yes, just come into my cleavers. I'm like a lawnmower. They all just run right into my blades. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a rock wall here stopping you? Let me just get that out of the way. Oh, door down here. A secret door, perhaps? Wait, what? Why are you inside a, like a summoning circle? I'm gonna talk to you from over here, okay? Oh god, I'm inside now. Darlet, are you a man or a woman? I, I don't know what voice to give you. I'll just give you a normal voice. I can't believe somebody found me out here. I came down into the cellar looking for supplies, but got cut off from the surface by the dead. I don't know what to do. Hang on. There you go. Kasparov sent me. I can open a rift gate and get you safety. You can do that? I'm scared of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've heard it all before. Get out of here. Okay, well, we saved that guy. Girl, person, it, the thing. Yeah, that's all right. Wow. Three for one. I think I made the right choice in going for those 20% uh, proc skills. That's just awesome. I don't have to spend anything to do that. And I'll get me some fancy AoE skills later, too. And then it'll be tasty, tasty shit. I still have one more to go, so that'll be like a... Uh, I think it tops out at 100%, doesn't it? Technical 100%, rather? I think there's five skills, and they each proc at 20. So, yeah. Oh, there's that dramatic stab again. I'll try to react more naturally next time. <laughs> Trying to be all scary. Where's this go? Oh, that's the exit. Wooden door. Yep. Okay, we want to go this way then. Break down that door because I can. Don't feel accomplished unless I break every door down. And then head up here see if there's anything fancy in this direction. Maybe. I hold out hope for a boss. Still a decent ways away from a level, so... I have to work hard for that level in this episode. But that should be nice, because that would mean we'd get... I see you, Crumbling Wall. We'd get, uh... Six points in this episode, then. Which is not shabby at all. Look at this secret area. Untouched meal. I guess I could use that. Some green items, that's not bad. A nice little fireplace. This looks cozy. I would sleep here. I'm just kidding, this person's dead. It's already their home. A little rotting, but that's okay. Uh, I do think we're done once we go down this little path right here, because this looks like a dead end. Oh, it's a rickety ladder. I like how they had to name it Rickety Ladder. Is there a chance that it can break when you walk up it? Because that would just be awesome. Otherwise, they should have just called it Ladder. Okay, you're dead. Break down my door. Break down some barrels. Get back there, can I? No, this looks like a a dead end. A couple people here. Or I guess those weren't people. My bad. My people! Um, I guess I might as well go this way. This looks decent. Take out this Aether Cluster. All these surprise enemies. 
Not today. Nobody's surprising me today. Not a whole lot of bosses in this episode. Or star. Star fiends. Or as I like to call them, star foxes. Not a whole lot of star foxes in this episode. We got a couple down in the cellars, but... Not like the seven we had last episode. Might have been even 20 for all I know. Hey, there's a person over there. You're just a green, green pyramid head though. You don't have anything useful. Harvey the Drifter. What? That's awesome, he recognized that. Oh, that's great. You broke my door. Oh no, the rotten walkers are gonna hear you. They're gonna find little Walter and me. Wait, are you rotten? No, no, you couldn't find us if you were. They would never think to look here. Is this a quest? No. Devil's Crossing is safe. I can take you there. You're from Burwich? Have you been here the whole time? You won't have to worry about the rotted ones anymore. I'm here to purge them, which is a lie, because as soon as I quit the game and reopen it, they'll all be back. Were you just talking to that doll before I walked in? Can I choose any of these? So obviously I, I can take it back to Devil's Crossing, but... Let's see. What doll? Are you crazy? That's my son! Stop talking about him like that! Look at him! He's alive! No, no better! He's perfect! Perfect, I say! Such smooth, perfect skin! I like those rotted ones outside! You have, a, you have to face reality. You're living alone here with this doll. I'm sorry for your son, but you need to move on. Um, yes. Uh-oh. Crap, I think I fucked this up. Why are you saying that? You're trying to poison my mind. You're one of those rotted ones, aren't you? You look okay, but you're rotted on the inside. Yes, I can smell it now. I can smell it, son! Um... Can I just back away? Maybe? Maybe yes? Wait, what doll? Oh, here's the doll. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Kind of real creepy. Can I talk to you again? Oh, good, okay. You're from Burwich. Have you been here the whole time? Yes. I knew they were coming, the rotted ones. I knew it. I tried to warn everyone, warn my family, but they all called me crazy. Crazy, see? I wanted to save them, but I just couldn't stay here. You see, don't you see? I had no choice. I had to hide. After the rotted ones killed everyone in town, everyone but little Walter, I came back. It's clever, don't you see? They're in the swamp now, but they would never think to look in town again. Um... What can you tell me about the area? Do you know where the one called the Warden is? How did you survive here all alone? Um, let's try this one. Alone? Oh, you mean little Walter and I. We're just hiding in this clever little spot where everyone else turns into rotten walkers. I fled into the swamp where the rotten ones came. My, my, my wife, she wouldn't leave. She thought the village was the safest place. She wouldn't let me take our little son. She come crazy. She's rotted now, walking the streets with the others. But I came back for Walter, and here he is, alive as can be. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone killed the Ethereals? Devil's Crossing is safe. What? No, no! If you kill, they come back. They search for living, and they find Harvey and little Walter. We're safe here. They'll never look. You'll ruin everything. After I slay the warden, you won't need to hide. You'll be safe. Oh no! Oh no! Too risky. I can't let leave you. Leave. I let you leave here alive. Never mind. I'm sorry. Crap. I don't want to kill this guy. Ah oh, balls. Um. Can, can I can I just run away? Will he despawn? I think I messed this up. No, 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 no! Fine, I'll kill him. Life's choices, you gotta live with them. I don't know what would have happened if I would have sent him to Devil's Crossing, but I was more interested in his dialogue. So, what are you gonna do? Maybe he wouldn't have come back to the Devil's Crossing with me. Who knows? And we've made our way back around, so that's good. Can't go that way. Uh, we've pretty much got a good handle on this section. So let's go up this way while we're here. Buzz, buzz, buzz. He was actually level 24 too, which is crazy. He's the highest level thing I've fought up here so far. What if I could have gone back and done anything? Now that he's gone, like maybe his son, I could have taken the doll or something. Get over here, flesh man. And you're dead. Just gonna keep going up this road because it's long and inviting. 
All right, well, we're done with the long and inviting road. I'm gonna go back to the way I was going then. Untouched meal, don't need that. Probably shouldn't be grabbing those, I don't know. I'm too lazy to stop my clicking. Just too lazy. See you floating around over there, eyes. I see you. Come on, don't you guys come one at a time. Just let me kill you all at once. Nothing over here. Just go up to the top. See what we can find out. Man, now I'm sad. I want to know what would have happened if I would have brought that guy back to the Devil's Crossing. That's alright. That's what we have comments for. Somebody let me know. If I missed out on something super cool and that I should be really sad. Or not. Kill off the Flesh Pound first. Done and done. <clears throat> There's some robes in there, it looked like. Or it was a ghost I just picked up. Not really sure. There's a cellar over there. Yep, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel spot. Grab the crates. Kill everything, and then head down here. I ain't going down the cellar just yet. Make my way over this way, so it's back here. Just a dead chair, that's all. Just a dead chair. Because we still have this little area right here. We haven't gone up yet. See, I thought that was an item. It's just... I don't know what it is. A molten hot glowing eyeball, I guess. What does it say? Warden Krieg! Alright, well, we're gonna go down that cellar, dude. Because <sighs> apparently this is where we're supposed to be going. Fantastic. I can deal with that. Alright, Mr. Cellar, I'm coming for you. Just you hold on. Don't go anywhere. It's gonna make my way all the way back around here. All the way back down here, and then all the way down here. All right, cellar. What are you? Dank cellar? Didn't I describe a cellar as dank before? They can't do that. I already copyrighted it. Oh, I've already been here. Oh, you're the other exit. Right. Good to know. Okay, well, I think that's it. Uh... I think I can live with that. That small piece of fog of war. I can get it next episode. Probably. Probably. Alright. Mr. Warden. Let's get a taste of what you have in store here. Bunch of floating eyes, that's for sure. There's a bunch of journals in there. Alright. Kill off all these sons of bitches, and we'll go read those. We need to find the cellar. Yeah, more scrap. Alright, maybe I won't be buying those then. Getting a decent amount of scrap now. Just from normal human beings. Oh god, there's a book over there, too. Go on down the door. Get on in. Come around the back. They'll never see it coming. Never, I say. Never. Yes, run into your death. I accept that. In fact, I encourage it. What's up here? Secrets? Maybe yes, maybe no? Doesn't look like anything. There's another door, I guess. Another door that goes where? Oh, that's on the outside. Ooh. Alright. What are you doing here? Hey, you can't do that. You can't see me here. How dare you? Okay, I'm gonna go over here and read this. Um, I guess we should go to the third entry. First, or third, I guess. Inquisitor Creed. I finally arrived in Burwich after passing through the dismal area known as Whitemire. For years, tales of supernatural occurrences have circulated about Whitemire, and indeed the name itself makes one uneasy. I hadn't put much stock in them, but my recent experiences lend, me, or lend some credence to the old tales. Nevertheless, I have reached my destination, and it seems the Warden of Devil's Crossing, who resides in Burwich, somehow anticipated my arrival. A footman, Hollywood Hootsman, a footman greeted me as soon as I entered town and insisted I accept Krieg's invitation to be put up at his manor. I find this very peculiar, but I have accepted the offer, as it may be my best chance to investigate the manor itself. Going to make this entry short, as I've just been summoned to join Krieg for supper in the dining hall. This should prove illuminating. Or Illuminati-ing. Either way. 
All right, Mr. Fourth Entry. I've been a guest to Warden Krieg at his manor for over a week now, and my suspicions that something terrible is going on here grow with each day. Every day, I set out uh, to some destination in or around Burwich to investigate yet another unusual crime or ominous rumor. Some are easily dismissed as more mundane human crimes, or merely fantastic tales, but many of my investigations have come to darker conclusions. I feel there is a pattern emerging here, but I cannot yet put the pieces together. There are peripheral cases, though, and, uh, and the main purpose of my involvement in them is to give pretense for my prolonged stay in Burwich. Krieg himself has become the focus of my primary investigation. Despite an overwhelming conviction that Krieg is not what he appears to be, and is almost certainly involved in some sort of unnatural activity, I have found no irrefutable evidence of wrongdoing that could be used to open an official inquisition. Much of the manor itself is closed off to me. There are rooms upstairs from which Krieg, sorry, I forgot to roll the R there, and other visitors come and go, but I'm not permitted to enter. Stranger yet, I have woken in the night to sounds like the creaking of wagons moving along a road, but then looked out my window down upon the village and see nothing. Where are these sounds coming from? The game of cat and mouse continues, but as of yet, I am not certain who is the cat and who is the mouse. It's a terrifying point to make. You sons of bitches, still attacking. Can I just kill you? Can you walk up to the wall and let me, uh, get my axe on through there? Whatever. I'm walking over here. I got things to read. This guy to kill. Wow. Like, this person died having a good time. Like, oh, yes, take me! And then they died. I guess that's one way to go, at least. Warden Krieg's journal! What's it doing up here? Is that Warden Krieg? Or is Warden the Krieg or Warden Krieg the one doing the goodness? Interesting. Warden Krieg's journal. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, jeez. Level up. Level up from reading a book. Stay in school, kids. Read books. They'll level you up in life. Warden Krieg's journal. I don't have a voice for him. I haven't seen what it looks like. I have taken possession of my assigned vessel, the local prison warden. I appeared to him in his bedchamber, oh god, and proposed the joining. Okay, I'm beginning to see what's going on here. I anticipated fear and skepticism, but these humans are apparently all too ready to enter into any pact they believe will profit them. Krieg is not a particularly strong-willed human, but he is persistent and constantly scratches at my consciousness. I have him under control, though. Krieg's position as an incarcerator of other humans will greatly facilitate our efforts. His expansive dwelling has a mass cellar that I can believe what we can use to fashion an underground transit to conceal our activities and the transport of bodies. There is much work ahead to prepare for a glorious dawn, but I rather enjoy this physical body. It has many advantages. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so we need to get outside somehow where would the outside be let's look at this map a little bit closer okay so I should be able to go this way and this way ah the door it canneth doth break or as I say in dragon's dogma there is aught of use here it's called a door that can be broken broken slammed aside ka -pa -choo! All right, Mr. Wooden Door, take me down to the Paradise City. We finally made it to the Warden Cellar. I should probably activate this. Are you a freebie? Yes, you are. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I'm going to finish off this episode here. Seems like a good stopping spot before I'm sure we spend many a minute fiddling a boot in the Warden Cellar. But I feel like we got a lot done in this episode, so that's good. Not a whole lot of bosses, but we went through many a dank cellar. Uh, many a flooded cellar and many a otherly named cellar to get to this point. And we got two levels, just barely, thanks to reading that note, so that's good. And we're well on our way to our level 50 mark, so that's good. Things are happening. Things are going real good so far. And I look forward to probably encountering the Warden as a probably a scary, frightening boss in the next episode forward to that. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal!